In this talk, I want to discuss how enterprise architecture and business process management can reinforce each other. Let's first look at EA. It considers a broad scope, the entire enterprise, and it focuses on the enterprise-wide coherence between the strategy, organization, capabilities, operations, and technology support of the enterprise. And since we're talking architecture here, we look at the what and not the how of the enterprise. Also note that I consider business architecture as a key part of true enterprise architecture. It is not just enterprise-wide IT architecture, but also considers the translation of business strategy into business operations. Moreover, EA should also consider the position of your enterprise in its wider ecosystem of customers, suppliers, and partners. Now, BPM in turn concentrates on how you do the work, often with a focus on optimal execution and efficient use of resources, and business experts are in the lead. You also see that, for example, in the lean process improvement. The people on the shop floor often know best where the process can be improved. A good business process management practice typically takes a customer-oriented, end-to-end perspective on processes to avoid sub-optimization at the task level. However, this doesn't consider the wider enterprise. Now, business processes don't live on their own. They need context. For example, what are the main business goals influencing the design of these processes? For example, some processes need to be as efficient as possible, say if your business strategy is one of operational excellence. But that may not work for processes where close customer contact and trust is essential. So linkage to the goals of the enterprise is important, and enterprise architecture can help you with that. And this is just one example. By relating your processes to the architecture, you can also see dependencies with other processes, IT systems, data being used, etc. This way you can also perform end-to-end -end optimization ac across multiple business processes that support the same value stream of your enterprise. Moreover, this integration also helps you track the impact of changes, especially when these consider more than one process, which is often the case in digital transformations and other high-impact changes. On the other hand, architecture is realized in processes and systems. Detailed business process design provides part of that realization. And that can provide feedback on the realism of the architecture. Is it feasible or should it be changed? Is there perhaps potential for innovation? And there are many cross-cutting use cases. For example, demonstrating regulatory compliance with say regulations on finance or operational risk management may mean you have to show both that individual processes limit risk and that the aggregated risk across different processes is within approved limits. The latter will require an architectural view of the dependencies between these processes. Another example is supply chain and value stream optimization, where you combine different processes and relate them via an overarching architecture model. When you want to combine EA and BPM in this way, it is important to use standardized modeling techniques. You don't want to be locked into some proprietary solution like some of our competitors offer. Standards are a safe choice. For example, you can use the Archimate language for your business architecture with concepts uh, like capabilities and value streams and high-level business processes. Of course, the architecture of the IT landscape supporting your processes can also be modeled so you can see how processes depend on or reside in various IT systems. In addition, uh, we have techniques like uh, the business model canvas, which you can also express in Archimate, so you can describe your strategic direction as well. And finally, the planning and change initiatives that evolve your enterprise can be modeled so you can make informed decisions on investments in change based on the full impact across the enterprise. In our platform, it's easy to drill down from these argument models into, for example, your process models with what we call cross-model relationships. These let you model the refinement of a high-level business process in Archimate into a more detailed BPMN model and vice versa. The BPMN and DMN standards themselves let you express detailed business processes and the corresponding business rules. You can use this, for example, to create detailed process designs and also for things like compliance assessments or performance optimizations and other analyses. Moreover, you can export your processes in the BPMN 2.0 format and feed them into a process execution engine. These models can also be used in a less formal way to support process improvement by the teams involved in these processes themselves, and there are various other use cases. If you add this up, you can perform integral analysis that covers the entire space from strategic direction via your architecture backbone to your concrete business processes implementing this. And I certainly do not mean this as a one-way street, a top-down approach. It works in two directions. 
Making this information accessible to everyone in the organization will on the one hand help promote alignment between the goals and operations of the enterprise and on the other hand gives everyone in the organization the opportunity to contribute to improvements and innovations, making their ideas available to the wider enterprise starting from a bottom-up perspective. And this is not just about combining models, even more about people with various roles collaborating across the enterprise. And this social aspect is an essential ingredient in the vision behind our Horizon platform, and we're happy to tell you more about that. I hope you agree with me that the combination of EA and BPM has much to offer. If you want to know more about how we support this collaborative way of working, please be in touch.